All right, y'all, it is my two week BBBE update. I'm gonna hop on the scale and see exactly where I am after 14 days eating only beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. My name is Cassie. My husband Larry and I have been eating a carnivore diet off and on, slips, bumps, all of the above for almost four years. We've had some amazing success. We've had some amazing failures. We get back up swinging each and every time. Larry is doing a 30 day water fast and he is absolutely killing it. He's ready to kill me sometimes because he has to smell food and he's actually cooking my meals, which he's a very brave soul for that. I know how difficult it is to fast and be around food. So he is a true warrior. As for me, right along with a lot of you, I am doing the BBBE challenge for the month of August. So far, so great. I have not stepped on the scale. I can't wait to see what my results are. I know my clothes are fitting better. I can actually see my jawline, which is a super big deal for me because I really don't know what the true form of my face has looked like. I've always been inflamed. It's starting to show and this is a really exciting time. I'm approaching the 100 pound weight loss. I said I was going to lose that 100 pounds by the end of the month. So we're about to hop on the scale and see exactly where I'm at. For those of you unfamiliar with BBBE, it is a challenge that Dr. Barry came up with and it consists of beef, butter, bacon, eggs, salt to season, no dairy. Every time I've done the challenge, I allowed coffee, with cream at my normal consumption rate, which is anywhere between one to two pots a day. Well, this time it's a little bit different. However, I have two small confessions to make. I did eat and drink a little off plan. I was out and about with somebody who I love dearly. Now, this person is having a baby. I was so excited to be able to go baby clothes shopping and get some items with her. And we had a celebratory meal. So for that meal, I had a Denver omelet. <gasps> no, it's not B, B, B and E, but it is eggs. There were eggs in there, but it has ham. There's onions, some bell pepper, and it was absolutely delicious. Oh, and cheese. And on that same day, I did stop at a very nice coffee shop and got myself a latte with heavy cream instead of milk. Now, I felt completely guilty because Larry, he is going without food. He is completely sacrificing everything. And for 30 days, I couldn't even commit to strict B, 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 and E. All right, y'all, it's time to weigh in. It's been two weeks since I've been on the scale. I can't wait to see where I'm at, see the kind of progress that I've made. I know my clothes are fitting looser. Like I said, I can see my jawline now, and I wonder how much poundage I've actually lost. But before we do that, let's thank the sponsor of today's video, Armor Colostrum. Armor Colostrum works all the way down at the cellular level. It harnesses the power of over 400 bioactive nutrients like peptides, antibodies, and antioxidants to help support your gut health, your immune system, and so much more. And there are more than 5,000 scientific studies backing Colostrum's benefits. Armra is the only colostrum to use cold chain biopotent pasteurization technology, which keeps Armra's over 400 bioactive nutrients active and functional. And I love the fact that Armra uses calf first sourcing. That means all the little baby cows get their nutrients first. I've been taking three scoops of Armor Colostrum every day for months now, and my regularity has improved. My skin is glowing. My hair is thick and lush. But the biggest improvement I've noticed is my nails. My nail beds are a beautiful pink. They're healthy. They're so much longer and so much stronger. I work in retail and my nails were always breaking. It seemed like every time I moved another box, another one would snap. But since taking Armor Colostrum, my nails are so much healthier and stronger. I can't remember the last time I broke a nail. And I love that. If you'd like some more info or want to pick some up for yourself, Check out the link below at tryarmor.com forward slash carnivore quest. That will get you 15% off your first order, or you can use discount code carnivore quest at checkout for that 15% off. 
Thanks again, Armor, for sponsoring today's video. So, let's go check the scale. One eighty three point six. Uh, well, that's a one pound weight loss, but I'm really not disappointed. My clothes are so much looser than they were. My body composition is changing. I feel better again. Third time I can see my jawline. So there are things happening. We know the scale isn't the be all end all. And actually I've made some improvement with that too, because I obsess over the scale. I obsess over those numbers. One pound weight loss normally would have devastated me, but since being on this journey, I've learned patience. Usually I lose anywhere between eight to 12 pounds in a month. I mean, the month isn't over, it's only halfway over. A lot can change. But again, this diet isn't all about the scale. Now today, yes, we're definitely documenting my weight loss and one pound is still one pound is better than one pound in the other direction. So I'm quite happy with that. That is a 92 pound weight loss since starting the channel. And you know, it's funny, Larry and I were talking the other day and technically I've lost over a hundred pounds because at my very heaviest, I was 295 pounds. I was just five pounds away from that 300 pound mark. I'm over the moon happy. I feel so much better. I look so different. In fact, I got a compliment the other day from somebody who hadn't seen me in a while and they said, you better be careful. You know, that wind might blow you over. And that felt so good, you know, and I know you've experienced that too with your weight loss and people who haven't seen you in a while and they notice the weight loss and they're just blown away. And that's happened to me so many times these last couple months. And it just, it's an incredible feeling and it's good motivation to keep going. Even in spite of only one pound of weight loss, I'm going to get to that hundred pounds. I'm going to get to my goal weight when I get there. I've maintained this weight loss for quite some time now, and I'm making progress each and every day. If it weren't for trying the BBB challenge three years ago, I really don't know where I'd be today. Unhealthy, maybe the cancer would have made its return because I could not keep my eating habits in check. BBB eliminated so many cravings and truly made me understand when your body is really hungry. Now, it can be frustrating when you do all the right things and you're not losing any weight. Believe me, I know. I've ate clean and haven't seen any progress, kind of like today, you know, other than one pound. Don't get frustrated, just keep going. Good things are gonna happen and you're gonna thank yourself for it later. Speaking of clean eating, let's go ahead and talk about what I have been consuming. Now, Larry's done a lot of cooking for me and I'm so thankful for that. He's so sweet because he's fasting and then having to cook for somebody, he's doing incredible. The first week though, he wouldn't even look at food. He wouldn't touch it. I was on my own, which is cool. I totally understand that. But since then, he made me a chuck roast. He fried up this beautiful T-bone steak for me. It was this thick. So other things that I've had, beef bacon. If you're a fan of brisket, I'm telling you, you need to try it. This stuff is amazing. I've also had the regular bacon, the pork bacon, and I've been eating an awful lot of eggs lately, which is a little out of the normal for me because I'll eat eggs, you know, maybe once a week, sometimes twice, but I've had eggs almost every single day and I've truly enjoyed them. You know, there was a time pre-carnivore where I couldn't even take a few bites of egg without physically feeling sick and even a handful of times I vomited. Recently, I ate four eggs. I had no problem with it, none whatsoever. And I absolutely love that because eggs are extremely healthy for you. They're loaded with protein. Yeah, they got that good cholesterol and they're just all around delicious. So I just want to touch real quick on the wall of doom. You know, I usually get it when I do the BBB challenge or the lion diet, but this time I only experienced it for one day and I did some fasting. I just fasted for the day, just got by it, and it was no problem after that. One other thing I've been doing is some intermittent fasting right along with some OMAD. Now that could also explain the lack of weight loss because from what I understand, you eat more fat and you eat more food and the pounds fly off, but I'm just not that hungry. So I eat when I'm hungry 
and I eat until I'm full. Let me know in the comments below how everybody else is doing, whether you are BBBE with me or if you're fasting with Larry. You know, I just want to thank you all for giving Larry some encouragement, rooting him on. It really means the world to both of us, but especially him during this time because no food, that can be rough. And for those of you who have done any type of extended fasting, you know the power of your stomach when it's growling and it just wants anything. In fact, he's even been watching so many food videos. When I did my nine day fast, what, two years ago, I binge watched Carnivorous Chef. Number nine, Carnivorous Chef. Hey, where are you doing? Oh, I was just about to order a pizza. Well, I was about to make a pizza. You want some of that? Feel like a donut? How about some macaroni and cheese? Or one of our favorites, the Wendy's Baconator. Carnivorous Chef has got you covered. A ninja with pork rinds. His recipes are not for the strict carnivore, but if you have a niche for something different without completely going off the rails, the chef will scratch it for you. Set up a double boiler over medium heat and add six slices of trash cheese. The smallest channel on our countdown comes in big with creativity and a unique editing style and an authenticity you just can't fake. I wasn't expecting this good of a cheese pool, but I'm very impressed with myself. And there's this one recipe that stands out and that was his macaroni and cheese and i wanted it so badly it looked like the best thing in the world and i'm telling you larry is right there right now and his mouth is just watering as he's watching it and we're not the only ones because a lot of you have commented the very same thing for whatever reason when you're fasting the food just looks that much better. Maybe that's just your eyes feeding instead of your stomach and that's enough to get you by. No matter what diet is you're doing this month, let us know any of your non-scale victories or scale victories or any major breakthroughs that you've experienced. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave those down there too. And if I can't get to you, our experienced warriors, AKA our carnivore family, they'll be more than happy to help you out. You know, people get so much inspiration from the comments. So let the world know how well you're doing. It's been two weeks since I've given you an update. I've been really busy at work and things at home and things outside of the home, you know, life. I just want to thank you all for stopping by and listening to me babble a little bit, giving you an update and rooting me and Larry on as we are on this journey to lose over 250 pounds eating the carnivore diet. And until the next time, my beautiful friends and family, remember no sugar, no carbs, and no cheating. Love y'all.